Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. It's the time of year again that we here in America celebrate our Thanksgiving. But what most of America is totally clueless about, as is many Catholics, is that Catholics celebrate Thanksgiving every day of the year. That's because Thanksgiving has more than one meaning. There is the popular sense of it and the spiritual sense. For this holiday time, we're going to open up some of our episodes from the Premium Channel and make them available for free viewing. They will be episodes specifically from the fourth season of our sister organization, St. Michael's Media's flagship show, The One True Faith. The fourth season is all about the Eucharist, and that, of course, means Thanksgiving, and that, of course, is the connection here. Now, what we've done is in this vortex, as soon as I'm done talking here, we're going to put a little trailer, you can watch a little trailer, two or three minutes, of the long episode, of the full episode, that if you want to watch the full episode, all you'll have to do is just click on the link, and there it'll be available for you. Those episodes will be up and available throughout the entire holiday weekend. So, please enjoy today's episode of The One True Faith from Season 4, Episode 11, Judas and the Eucharist. Have a happy Thanksgiving. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. We're going to talk about betrayal, about being a traitor, about having your best friend turn on you or a very good friend turn on you. You know, salvation history is absolutely littered with stories of betrayal and treason and murder. How do we know that Judas was in the control of Satan when our blessed Lord announced that men must eat his body and drink his blood? It's pretty simple because Jesus himself tells us at the end of the, gospel, the sixth chapter in the Gospel of John, Jesus says, yet not all of you believe, for one of you is a devil. It's pretty strong language coming out of the mouth of Almighty God. <coughs> One of you is a devil. It's the first time in Scripture that we actually hear why Judas betrayed Jesus. It was ultimately because he did not believe in Christ's teaching that you must eat his physical body and drink his physical blood. That's where the Gospels draw the line of demarcation. Judas is one heck of a sobering lesson for everyone who sort of pitches their tent around Jesus. For 20 centuries, 20 centuries, billions of people have called themselves Christians. Billions of people. You know, and of all sinful men, perhaps none were so Christian as the apostles themselves. Of all sinful men, I said, notice, I exclude the mother of God in that statement. But even in that august company of the apostles, personally handpicked face to face by Almighty God Himself, protection from Satan proved impossible without belief in the Eucharistic Christ. Believe. Do you believe? Peter, yes. Judas, no. Better for him had he never been born. <laughs> 